All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Chakurash, the one our elders and apostles of great meals, and I do well. And citations and blessings to Akim that pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity, and risk your lives to do so. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to entitle it Look Forward Every Day. All right, and this, um, this all through the spirit, man, just something that's just came to my mind. Right, we just have to just continue to look forward, all right, no matter. What is going on in our lives, the things that, you know, be going on in our lives, man, that may anger us, may vex us. All right, but we got to understand that the kingdom of heaven is coming. All right, better days are coming, man. So we just got to continue to look forward and don't let these mortal thoughts hold us down. Which, I'm just, um, well, when I grab it, I'm open up with that. Because it's really this flesh, man. It's, it's just the flesh that, you know, brings us down and makes us lose hope and, you know, and we just can't give into that. We got to give into the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, which is full of hope, full of mercies, man. A full of deliverance. We just got to continue to look forward. So this is second Ezra 14 and 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And we have to put off the weak nature, which is this flesh. All right. And lean towards the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right. Because that's where the power is at. That's where the, profit the, the profitability is at. All right, it's in these scriptures, in the spirit of the Lord. All right, not it's out of our flesh, not our mortal thoughts. All right, the things that we see, man, damn, how am I going to do this? How am I going to pay this bill? Or, hey, man, shit, I'm, I'm, you know, you're just so vexed that, hey, sometimes you just want to just give up, man. But you got to continue to look forward. All right, you just got to continue to look forward because hey, the kingdom is coming, man. Hey, the MOTB is right around the corner. Hey, all hell is about to break loose. This kingdom is falling right before our eyes. We just got to continue to move, continue to do the works. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. So we got to haste to flee from these times. Continuing to have the mindset of, hey, the kingdom is coming, the kingdom is coming. All right, one day down. You know, one day down, hey, hey, keep on looking for it. All right, we, hey, we, we, we moving towards the kingdom. We moving towards salvation. All right, we just got to continue to stay prayed up. All right, lean, lean on these scriptures, read. More and more. It says that uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. So we got to get into this word, get into the spirit of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, so these heavy thoughts don't be upon us. It says, For yet greater evils than, than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more evils increase, uh, so much the more evils shall increase. Upon them that dwell therein, and they evils are coming. All right, distress is coming, destruction is coming. You know, we just gotta just just don't worry about the things that are going on right now, the things that are, you know, happened yesterday, man. All right, just worry about today, worry about the next day, worry about what what was what's about to come. All right, and and and, and how, you know, we're gonna be delivered from these things. All right, through Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and having that faith in the Lord, no matter what. All right, even in the situation that we going going through right now. All right, we got to continue to a, a hasten, hasten these times, all right? And they just keep our, keep our spirit strong in the spirit of the Lord. Just keep looking forward, man. Don't look back. It's the second Peter 3 and verse 10. It says, but the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, and the which uh, the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also... And the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So hey, everything here is going to be destroyed by way of ICBM nuclear missile fire, all right, which is the day of the Lord when this place is going to be destroyed. When them chariots is going to come at the come at the uh, the clouds, all right, crack those clouds, man. They're going to help in the destruction of this place, the the fire of this place, the burn of this place. You know, it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are ye to be? And all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So the spirit that we're supposed to be in is, is hastening, right? Just a continue to look forward, continue to a focus on 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 what's to come, the kingdom of heaven, right? The the destruction that's to come, all right? The salvation that's to come from Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right, we can't worry about the things that are. Going on in, in, in our day lives every day, you know, because hey, if you do, man, them, them thoughts uh, take over, them demons to take over, uh, fuck with your man, you know, then you'll be, 
eventually you'll get sucked sucked out more and more. All right, the spirit will be sucked away from you more and more. So you just got to continue to have that faith. All right, just continue to just hey, look forward, man. Because hey, this is what's coming. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, hey, the Lord has promised. He is faithful to that promise. He is not a man that, 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 that shall lie, man. All right, he is faithful. Hey, the Lord cannot lie. It says that by uh, two immutable things. All right, and hey, one, hey, one of them is a hey, lying. The Lord cannot lie, man. It says, look for new heavens. Uh, yes, yeah, it says, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So that's what's to come. A new heaven, man. A new earth where righteousness is going to be in. Where, we need, where, where we're never going to sin again. We're never going to cry again. We're never going to feel pain again, man. Our people are, ne are never going to be in this predicament that they're in, man. Cracked out, drugged out, perked out, whored out. We ain't going to be none of that. You know? So it says, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. All right, we got to be diligent in this word. Diligent in the work of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. In our offices, you know, whatever, you know, position that the Lord has put you in, you got to be diligent in that. It says that ye may be found of him and in, in peace without spot and blameless, you know. And hey, that's not leaning to our thoughts and leaning to, to the ways of this world. But staying focused and, and doing what we have to do for Yahweh Bashim al Shai, which is push this word. Be a brother. So this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So we have to endure hardness. We have to endure the tribulations and the distress and all the things that we may go through on a day-to-day -day basis, man. Let me, uh, I'm going to go into this word. Mm, yep. Things do get hard. Things do get, you know, hey, the flesh, the flesh plays on you, but you have to just fight it. Being, in, being inside the spirit of the Lord. So this is uh, that Greek word. Strong's G twenty five fifty three, Karkapatheo. Karkapatheo. Okay, this is a Greek word for hardness. It says uh, to suffer, endure evils. All right, endure evils, suffer. All right, because hey, to suffer just means it means to endure. You know, are you suffering something? Are you being patient? Are you being patient? You're enduring. You say you're being patient. You're suffering. So you're enduring all these things and doing those evils, the hardships, the troubles to be afflicted. Hey, any and everything that the Lord is putting us through, whatever cross we may have to bear, we just have to bear it, man. We just got to take it up and we can't, you know, we, we have that, 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 that crybaby spirit, so to speak. Just got to just suck it up and just keep on going. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing. You know, because it ain't no looking back. It ain't no going back, man. It's only going forward. It says, 2 Timothy 2 and 4. It says, no man that wore entangling himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So, hey, we're, we're not, we can't be entangled with this life, man. Tied up with the things that go on in our life. You know, it says, Greek word. Strong's G, 1707, Impleco, Impleco. Okay, Impleco, it says to enweave of a thing to entangle, involve in. So we can't be entangled, we can't be enweaved, we can't be involved in the things of this world. You know, we, we do what we need to do, all right? You may have baby mama drama that be driving you crazy and shit, man, but you can't be entangled with that. You can't get entangled with that drama, man. All right, you just got to leave it alone. All right, she, she go do what she go do. Hey, you got to do what you go do. You got to serve your heart by Shai. You got to have a sound mind, a clear mind. And that's what the Lord said that he has given us, a sound mind. We just have to just continue to uh, lean towards these scriptures, man. John 6 and 63. It says, It is a spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. Nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they our life. So these words are spirit and life, man. This is what quickens us. This is what makes us alive and keeps us moving. Not the flesh, man. The flesh doesn't profit anything for you. All right? The flesh only brings death and destruction. All right? You lean towards the flesh. You lean towards your emotions. All right? That's what's going to lead. That's, when, that's what's going to lead you to distress. Lead you to destruction, man. So you just got to stay in the spirit and continue to hey, stay prayed up. Stay prayed up, man. As the scriptures tell us to do. First Thessalonians 5 and verse uh, 17. 
It says pray without ceasing. So hey, pray without ceasing, nonstop, as much as you can, man. Pray to the Lord. Pray to Yahweh Bashem al that he takes not his Holy Spirit away from us, which is a prayer that we should all be praying every day. You know, speaking to myself first and foremost. Because that's what keeps the Spirit of the Lord upon us, man. It's not, you know, just because we're deep or because we read so much, it's the Lord. And hey, you have to pray continuously so that he keep his Spirit upon you, man. So, let me grab one more. It's Matthew 6 and verse 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through uh, nor steal. It says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So we have to be focused. All right, all right Our treasures must be uh, yeah, our, yeah, our treasures must be the kingdom of heaven. This must be the, our deliverance, man. Us getting up out of this place, hey, hey sin of destruction of this place, man, that, that has to be our treasure. That's where our heart must be at. It can't be here inside this world and in, in, this, in this wicked, evil land, man, and the things that go on in this wicked, evil land. All right, we cannot fret because of evil doers. This is Colossians 3 and 1. It says, if ye then be... Be risen with Hamashiach. Seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. So this is what we're focused on, man. This is what we're looking forward to. <laughs> the kingdom of heaven. Being with Yahweh Shai. Being, being a beamed up, man. And then a sin of destruction of this place and ultimately coming back down. All right, and a ruling, ruling, man. Ruling and judging over all these nations. And being a holy and perfect nation unto Yahweh Shemal Shai, the Israelites. Which are you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man? It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Uh, I want to go into this word affections. Affection. A man cannot be here. Strong's G, 5426. Franeo. Franeo. Okay, Franeo says to have understanding, be wise, to feel, to think, to have an opinion on oneself, think of oneself, to be modest, not let one's opinion, uh, though just of himself, exceed the bounds, the bounds of modesty. So if we cannot think upon this place, we cannot feel upon this place, we can't set our affections on this place here in Babylon, the great man, the things that be here in this land. All right, we just got to continue to look for it. Let those mortal thoughts go. All right, all the bullshit, man. Damn, man, I wish I had that car. Man, I wish I had that money. I wish I had that house. No, man, we go get all that. Just worry about doing the work. All right, the Lord said in Matthew's the 19th chapter, he's going to give us all these things back a hundredfold as long as we follow him in the regeneration. And that's these times right now, man. So we just got to continue to walk, continue to move forward. Don't look back. Of course, we're going to fall. You know, sometimes we're going to slip up. You know, but it says a righteous man is going to get back up. We're going to get back up, man, every single time. Hey, we're never going to look back. Hey, we may slow down a little bit, stop. You know, babe, you're going to always keep on going, always pushing forward. So it says, verse 3, Colossians 3 and 3, it says, For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach and Yahweh. Where Hamashiach, it says, When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. So this is when we're going to get our glory, man, when Yahweh Shai comes back. Because we're going to be joint heirs with him. This is what we're looking forward to, man. This is where our mind should be at. All right? A, to a, on salvation. On deliverance. Not on the things that I hear inside this world, man. This world is going to be destroyed. Focus on a, our salvation. That's where everything is at. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakurash, that will honor our elders and apostles of great meals and I do it well. And citations and blessings to you, I can now push this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.